All right, now we're looking at finding what the annual equivalent of a business project or investment is. So if we have this example here, you want to buy a truck for $75,000, it's going to cost you an additional $50,000 a year to operate. Um, we have a minimum acceptable rate of return. We're going to be driving it 60,000 kilometers for five years. Um, basically, we just want to find out what the annual equivalence of this is and the cost per kilometer. Now, annual equivalence is going to take into consideration the capital cost and the operating costs. So first of all, what we have to do is find the net present value of this project or this investment. So we're going to have negative 75,000, right? This is the initial investment for this project minus the present value of an annuity uh, looking at this $50,000 cost. Now, the reason we're subtracting this is because this is a cost. We're not making $50,000 from this. We're paying $50,000. Uh, we actually don't know how much this project, you know, how much we should charge for this project yet. Yes. So anyways, we're going to have 50,000 50, times 1 minus 1.12 to the negative 5 all over 0 0.12. Now, if, you, if you're not sure where this formula is coming from, we've been using this lots in the previous videos, so you can just go back and check if you're unsure. Otherwise, we'll just continue on. So... If you punch this in your calculator uh, and add it to negative $75,000, or subtract it from negative $75,000, I guess, uh, we're going to find the net present value of this project is going to be negative $255,238.81. Even a little dollar sign in there for you. All right, so this is the net present value. This takes into consideration the capital cost and the operating costs. Um, now what we want to do is we just want to basically use this present value and figure out what an annuity would be, uh, what the annuity would be for the present value of that. So again, we're just going to write this now. Here we can even change colors. Uh, so we'll have negative two hundred and fifty-five thousand two hundred and thirty-eight dollars and eighty-one cents, and we're just using the present value of an annuity formula. So we'll have our annuity times well all of the same stuff because we're using the same minimum acceptable rate of return. 1.12 to the negative 5 over 0.12. Okay, so you just calculate this, it would be the same as in the previous part, and divide it from both sides. And we're going to find that A here, this annuity, which is actually the annual equivalence, so we can even say AE is equal to A, is going to give us a negative $70,805.73. cents. So this is our annual operating costs, or sorry, not annual operating costs. This is the annual equivalence, which includes the annual operating cost and the present value of that uh, um, of that initial investment. And if we want to calculate uh, the cost per kilometer, all we have to do is just divide this number by sixty thousand for the kilometers. So we we'll have, uh, sorry, not that one, uh, negative seventy thousand eight hundred and five dollars and seventy three cents. We want to just divide this out per kilometer because we're driving 60,000 kilometers every year, and this is the annual equivalence for every year, so over 60,000. Uh, this is going to give us a value of $1.18 uh, per kilometer. So we can just write that per km.